Carol Marois, who is a local girl. She was born here in Ottawa, and she lives here. And she studied at the Ontario College of Art and Design, and also uh, in Italy. And she writes that uh, the art of Italy, especially the art of the Renaissance, uh, continues to influence her work. Um, she's painted, she, she's quite well known as a painter of murals, and I don't know if any of you have driven up Preston in recent years, but the, the mural under the uh, Queensway is Carol's. And I remember, because we used to, the Old War Museum required me to drive under that bridge every day, and I watched it progress, but I didn't know it was by Carol at that point in time. Um, she got involved in the, the CFAP program in 2005, and um, I imagine that she will be talking a little bit about her involvement in that program and her other experiences with CFAP. And um, she will also probably be speaking about the work of hers that is in a brush with war, and I imagine the related works um, that have come out of that particular experience. 2005, I was asked if I was interested to go to the Netherlands for the 60th anniversary of uh, Victory in Europe Day and the liberation of Holland. So, of course, I said yes. So, it was an amazing experience for me. Um, why I joined the Canadian, or why I, I, I applied to the Canadian Forces Artists Program is maybe like many of us artists, we're curious about military life and we're, we like adventure, we like traveling, like a lot of the soldiers. And it's like, um, for the military, it's like a big family, which as, as an artist, of course, I'm more like a guest, and I am privileged to uh, participate in some of their everyday routine life, which uh, for me in the uh, Netherlands, it was more of a celebratory um, experience. And, but at the same time, this, of course, this underlying sadness all along of, of all the loss, the uh, lives lost. Um, so for three weeks, I was there three weeks uh, in uh, the Gelderland, province of Gelderland. Okay, so this is the entrance to the Harskamp, mili Harskamp military base. Um, what struck me, I think it's one of the first visuals, powerful images that, that uh, somehow it stayed in my mind as almost like a row of soldiers greeting me, like a sort of a, just entering the base felt safe. It, it just that that visual stayed with me all along, all the, the order in the Netherlands, the, the order of the rows of, of trees, of tulips, of gravestones, and of course the soldiers. So this is the cafeteria. And this is about the time where Major McKillop who was in charge of the contingent of about 250 military personnel. He, he introduced me finally after a few days and said, this is Carol, she's a visual artist, she's with the Canadian Forces Artist Program, and she will be using her camera as a sketch pad, so don't be scared, she's not media. <laughs> so he basically gave me carte blanche to photograph whatever I want. Of course, being the uh, situation of not a war zone, it's, it wasn't an issue, but I was, uh, at the same time, I was careful um, of how I was going to portray that. There's a, a certain element of uh, discretion, and because, I, of course, I was uh, sleeping in the barracks uh, with the women and washroom every day and all that stuff. <laughs> this is the Apple Dorn Parade. This is the parade um, that I ended up marching behind because the crowds were so huge that um, Major McKillop just said, you better get back there and follow the soldiers because you won't because you won't find the buses. And of course, it was raining, and it was sad because all the people telling you, thanking you as a Canadian, where I felt uh, I, it was kind of a strange situation to uh, the, the, the emotional feeling. I, mean, I had heard of um, you know how much the Dutch, um, the strong bond between the two countries, and how much they are grateful for the Canadians uh, being the liberators of Holland in 1945, and, but I, I had no idea they still, it still meant so much to them. Okay, so this is um, one of the panels in my parade, which is not part of the show. I have 13 canvases, and the top part, the whole idea is uh, that the, the whole canvases, the, they look like gravestones, so the impact of the cemeteries in the Netherlands that's what I wanted to portray, that underlying sadness. And, 
And um, so the, the, I have 13 canvases showing the parade. <coughs> The uh, operations, every day I would meet uh, um, with uh, headquarters personnel and we would go through what happened during the, what would happen th during that day, depending on the weather and many other factors. But um, the nice thing is that I wasn't told where to go. I was just given a series of events and I could just go wherever I please. So I felt uh, very at ease with that. And... Um, this is my piece called Together Side by Side. It's actually, I completed that last year. Uh, I just felt that after the parade of 13 canvases, I had to do something even bigger. It's just to get it out of my system, I guess, and just to, it wasn't almost enough. I, I had one more thing to say and it had to be, last year was 65 years after Second World War and I just decided I would work on this series of panels that showed my entire experience in the Netherlands Again, this time I actually, they're on panels carved or shaped like gravestones. So you see some of the scenes of the cemeteries and the, I have the three services, Navy and um, Army and Air Force. And this part here is called, uh, well, the, the starvation winter of 1944 in the Netherlands when the Dutch only had uh, tulip bulbs to eat and a few other bad things. but. Uh, Basically, that's when uh, the Canadians um, arrived and, uh, according to the Dutch, uh, liberated, um, or in, in Appledorn especially, the, the Canadians liberated the city of Appledorn in, on April 17, 1945. So this is uh, my show that's happening this, this spring. Uh, the opening will be on that day. So then again, I have the idea of the rows of uh, gravestones changing into rows of tulips, the veterans, the actual gravestones of, of um, soldiers who have died during the Second World War, and the parade. And I used three uh, young soldiers for the, the portraits. One is um, uh, Verena, she uh, was an able seaman then, now she's a master seaman. Uh, Mike Manny here, corporal, uh, oops, and uh, and uh, Katrin Soprakol, another corporal who was the major's driver. And I end this piece um, with, um, uh, again, it's called Together Side by Side, so with the father and son from the Netherlands 